In this video, I'm going to show how to download and install IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate and associate it with a license key. I happen to have an educational license key for this purpose, which you can request if you are a professor, a teacher, or a student, but this will work for other license keys as well. So first of all, I searched for it and I, I simply did a search, choose your favorite browser or favorite search engine for IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Download. Uh, that will take you right to this page and then click download and let it go. With the download complete, we'll go ahead and open the file. And simply work through the wizard. Now for me, I'm going to check a few boxes here that I like. Uh, of course, you can choose your own, but these are the ones that are appropriate for me. I might also go ahead and, you know, we'll go ahead and add Kotlin, KTS, and Groovy, because on this specific machine, this is the only IDE I anticipate having. And we choose Next, and go ahead and choose Install. And now it's going to prompt us to reboot, so we'll pick back up after the reboot is complete. And now we've rebooted, we see the icon right here on the desktop. We'll go ahead and double click. And naturally we want to read the license agreement in great depth. And only after we read it in great depth we'll confirm, if we choose, that we've accepted the terms of the agreement, and then we'll choose continue. Uh, make your own decision on this one. And now it's going to give us the theme. Now this is a really careful consideration for me just because this shows up in videos and I tend to think that the light offers better contrast, although most people will prefer the Dracula. For my purpose, I can choose light, but we can always change that later. Now let's look at some default plugins and we'll see if we click on customize here that all of these are selected by default and there are a lot of really good plugins that are offered in IntelliJ IDEA, like Spring, like Java, and if we go back and we take a look at things like the build tools, we'll see the three common build tools, Ant, Maven, and Gradle. So I'm good with all of this. Let's go ahead and go to Featured Plugins. And once again, choose what's appropriate for you here. I might go ahead and grab Kubernetes. Um, could grab some other things, but maybe even the Features Trainer. What the heck? Let's grab that one. And then let's start using IntelliJ IDEA. Now, this is where it prompts us for a license. And you see we can evaluate for free or we can put in a license. Since I have an educational license, I'm going to go ahead and put in my email address and password. And activate. Fingers crossed, hold thumbs, pet the lucky rabbit's foot, and with any luck we should now have IntelliJ IDEA. And from here we can choose New Project, and we see when this screen opens that it tells us we, that we don't have an SDK. So let's go ahead and download a JDK. Several options here. Oracle Open JDK, that one will work. And just pick the latest version. These version numbers tend to change fairly quickly. So this is the latest at the time that I am recording the video. But by the time you're viewing the video, it might well be on a later version. So I just recommend grab the latest. We'll go ahead and let it download. Once this finishes, we can choose the project that we want to create, and we can start doing what we really want to do, which is making the world a better place by writing great software. This will be the start of the lectures that I do where I'm writing some software, but I really can't wait to see what you create with this. So have a look, jump in, start your first project, and do something great. Thank you.